Today, we want to explore the remarkable life of William Adams, an English sailor whose story has inspired many works of art, including the popular series Shogun. William Adams was born in September 1564 in Gillingham, Southeast England. When he was 12 years old, his father passed away, and he began a journey of learning under different mentors. During this time, he gained knowledge in various fields such as shipbuilding, navigation, and astronomy. At the age of 24, he joined the Royal Navy of Britain. During Queen Elizabeth I's reign, England and the Netherlands had a shared rivalry with Spain. Queen Elizabeth allowed Dutch sailors to seek refuge and repair their ships in the River Thames. Towards the end of her reign, she sent English forces to the Netherlands to support the Dutch in their fight for independence. While England was at war with Spain, Adams served in the Royal Navy under the command of Sir Francis Drake. In 1588, at the age of 24, Adams Adams participated in his first mission against the Spanish Armada on the supply ship Richard de Felde. His role was to transport provisions and food supplies for the English fleet. In 1589, Adams married a woman named Mary Hinn, and they had two children together. Shortly after, he found employment with the Dutch East India Company, also known as the VOC. During his voyages, Adams had many interactions with Dutch sailors and merchants, forging numerous friendships. On one of his journeys, he heard rumors about the Dutch's plan to send a large fleet to the Spice Islands. It was said that five ships were already prepared in Rotterdam. This expedition required experienced navigators who could sail across the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. Adams, with his ample experience and proficiency in multiple languages, faced no difficulties in being recruited. His brother Thomas also joined him on this voyage. Thus, at the age of 34 in 1598, Adams embarked on a journey as the chief navigator of five ships, funded by a group of Rotterdam merchants known as the Dutch East India Company, or the East India Company. They set sail from Rotterdam in the Netherlands, heading east toward Asia. Adams served as a navigator on the ship Liefde, which means love in English. Out of the five ships that set sail, Liefde was the only one that reached Japan. The voyage faced various tragedies, with the fleet becoming separated after reaching the Strait of Magellan on April 6, 1589. William and his brother Thomas were transferred to Liefde, while other ships faced confiscation or sank. Dysentery, scurvy, and attacks from Indians plagued the crew, reducing their number from 109 to 24. After more than 22 months at sea, Liefde finally landed on Hirado Island, Bungo Province, Japan, on April 19, 1600. Only six crew members, including Adams, were able to walk ashore, and three more died the following day. This marked the first Dutch ship to reach Japan and Adams as the first Englishman to set foot in the country. However, their arrival raised suspicions among Japanese officials and Jesuits, who labeled them as pirates and enemies of the Portuguese. The matter was escalated to Tokugawa Ieyasu for a decision. In 1604, Tokugawa Ieyasu instructed Adams and his companions to construct Japan's first Western-style ship with Mokai Tadakatsu, the naval commander in Uraga, Kanagawa. They built an 80-ton vessel in Ito, Shizuoka, using local carpenters for exploration along Japan's coast. The following year, a larger 120-ton ship was ordered, slightly smaller than Adams' original ship, the Liefta, at 150 tons. Impressed by Adams' expertise in shipbuilding, Ieyasu appointed him as a trusted advisor, initially known as Anjin, meaning navigator. Later called Miura Anjin, he became Ieyasu's diplomatic and trade advisor, teaching him Western subjects like geometry and geography. Adams and Jan Jousten van Lodenstein settled in Japan and are among the first Western individuals to receive the title of samurai. Although Adams had a wife named Mary and a daughter in England, Ieyasu prohibited him from leaving Japan. He was presented with two swords, which symbolized the authority of a samurai. The shogun decreed that from then on, William Adams, the navigator, was dead, and a samurai named Miura Anjin was born. According to the shogun, this action freed Adams to serve permanently in the shogunate, effectively making Adams' wife a widow in England. However, after 1613, Adams regularly sent financial support and assistance to his family in England through English and Dutch companies. Additionally, Adams was given the title of Hatamoto, a position of high standing as a senior retainer in the shogunate administration. Adams was granted the opportunity to marry a Japanese woman, whose name is not mentioned in primary sources, but has gained fame in novels as Oyuki today. Adams and Oyuki became the parents of a son named Joseph, 
and a daughter named Susanna. It is said that another Japanese woman in Hiradu also bore a child from Adams. Ieyasu boosted Japan's trade by acquiring foreign goods and techniques using silver as the global currency. With Japan producing a third of the world's silver, ships from Europe and Southeast Asia flocked in. But Japan faced a challenge with imported raw silk, monopolized by the Portuguese after China banned trade. To counter, Ieyasu brought in the Dutch to compete, aiming to lower prices and end the monopoly. While Adams advised Ieyasu on trade, the push to diversify sources and reduce dependence on the Portuguese was mainly Ieyasu's initiative. Adams sent Ieyasu Tokugawa and Melchior van Santfort to Patani to negotiate with the Dutch East India Company, aiming to expand Western trade with Japan and challenge the Portuguese monopoly. However, due to conflicts and limited resources, the Dutch couldn't send ships until 1609. Led by Jacques Spex, two Dutch ships arrived in Japan in 1609, carrying an official letter from the Prince of Orange. Adams negotiated with them leading to diplomatic relations and a Dutch trading post in Hirado. Adams also sought to establish trade with England, learning of an English settlement in present-day Indonesia in 1611. He wrote to them, inviting trade with Japan. Besides trade, Adams faced religious rivalry. The Portuguese and Catholic factions saw him, a Protestant, as a threat. They tried to convert him and offered to smuggle him out of Japan. Adams warned Ieyasu of Spanish infiltration methods, influencing the ban on Catholicism in 1614 after the Okamoto Daihachi Tokugawa incident. In 1616, Tokugawa Ieyasu died, and Adams's position at the Japanese court weakened. However, despite this and the lack of interest from Ieyasu's successor, Adams's trading license was renewed. Adams passed away on May 16, 1620, at the age of 55, in Hirado, northern Nagasaki. He was buried in Nagasaki, where his grave can still be seen today. His grave is located next to the sacred memory shrine of Francisco Xavier, William Adams is considered one of the most influential foreigners in Japanese history. His achievements include establishing free trade in Japan, eliminating the power of Spain, and his significant assistance to the ruling shogunate of Tokugawa. This has made him the subject of numerous films and books.